Hey guys, it's Mad Morta, and today I have a new project to show you. Um, it's a Game Boy Advance style Wii Portable um, that I'm working on with Aurelio from Bitbuilt, who most of you probably know. Um, it's something that we're working on together, and the idea here is to have a Wii Portable inside of what's basically a Game Boy Advance. Um, the shell will probably be a little bit different because it'll be 3D printed instead of Franken case into an actual shell. Um, the reason for that is um, because one of the one of the goals for this project is to have it be as clean cut and um, well organized as it can be, like as neat as we can make it. Um, so in order to help with that, uh, we're 3D printing the shell. Um, but the idea is to keep it as close to the original as possible. Uh, you can tell that it's the exact same size. Um, I mean, they're exact. Um, but it, it cuts down on a lot of the messy workaround solutions that you have with Franken-casing things. So, um, what we have so far is the faceplate, which uses a 3.5 inch screen and um, 3DS sliders and DS light buttons. It also has room for the actual um, L and R buttons from a um, from a Game Boy Advance, and you can tell that they do have room to move around. Everything does fit. Um, you can see the screen here goes right in. Um, and actually, you'll notice that this screen is almost exactly the same size as the um, as the outer perimeter of the the Face plate for the Game Boy Advance screen, um, which I think adds to the um, the Game Boy aesthetic. Um, but the buttons will be different. Uh, they'll be A, B, X, Y buttons. Um, there's there's a lot that's still not decided yet because it is a work in progress, um, and this is really all we have so far. Um, but we're looking at doing something that's either an LMAO trim or something very similar. Um, here I have just a quick sketched outline of something that vaguely resembles an LMAO trim. Um, this is not at all exact, this is just like for size comparison. Um, so you can see kind of how big it is. Um, in order to do this you have to uh, do the NAND bend, um, which is basically just uh, basically like relocating that. Um, and um, but other than that, you know it that it looks totally doable. It should fit. Um, here's next to the Game Boy. Uh, one of the concerns is uh, thickness because you have the screen um, and the and the um, you're gonna have to have heat sinks and stuff. So batteries are still not um, decided yet. Uh, so it may have um, small batteries or it may have. Um, you know, some some more space to fit larger batteries, um, but that's really undecided so far. So, um, but that's that's what we have so far is um, the the basic uh, shape design and idea for how to do it, um, and it's looking totally doable. Um, everything should fit just fine, um, although it is a bit of a tight squeeze. Um, the OMG WTF trim actually almost fits. Uh, inside one of these, but not quite. Um, so you'd have to do a slightly smaller trim than that to get it to, to work in here. But um, that is it for this video, and stay tuned for updates. Thanks for watching.